First thing is identify with what you love and once you love it, hone in on that thing until you can master it to the point where people can identify that there's no questioning your love for it. That's the first thing. Once you love it to the point where your actions speak louder than anything you could say about how much you love it, that is always the root of whatever success is preordained or destined to come to you, no matter what it is that you choose to do. Because what is actually gonna create the revenue is that you're not doing it from a place of trying to generate the revenue. You're gonna do this shit regardless. So it's not about the money for you. You're fulfilling something. Because here's what's important to me. It's for my name once in a while to appear in someone's testimonial. Make that note. It's one of life's greatest experiences. It's when your name appears in somebody's testimonial. Somebody says, here's the person who found me. Here's the person who got me started. Well, here's the person who wouldn't let me quit. Gave me more reasons for staying than for leaving. Here's the person who believed in me until I could believe in myself. And then they mention your name. See, you can't buy that with money. And you don't have to give lectures and seminars to do it. You don't have to have an audience like this for the weekend in order to deliver value to someone's life. More important you are, the more successful you are, the more you tend to measure out your time in minutes. The less successful you are, the more you tend to measure out your time in hours, days, and weeks. The average person thinks of terms of morning or afternoon. The above average person thinks of hours. The successful person thinks of half hours. The very successful person thinks in terms of minutes. They allocate their time carefully. Now the only time way that you can do that is what? Is you've got to keep track of what you're spending your time on. 60, 70, 80 percent of people are not aware of how they spend their time. They think they spend a lot of time in meetings. It turns out they spend a lot of time socializing. They think they spend a lot of time working on reports. It turns out they spend a lot of time on the telephone. They think they spend a lot of time doing important jobs. It turns out they spend a lot of time wasting time. So keep a time log or just keep a sheet. And whenever you have a chance to look at your watch, write down what you're doing at the time. Or have somebody else watch what you're doing and feed back to you how you're spending your time. And then you have to ask is how more. I want you to remember how far you came.